Forfeit the game before somebody else takes you out of the frame And put your name to shame, cover up your face You can't run the race, the pace is too fast, it just won't last Alright, so a lot of people have been asking me, like, how do I make a Rocks Editor like you? There are people who Man, know how to use Rocks Editor, but not in the fuck way as me. I do. Um, and a lot of people have asked me how to do it, so I figured why not, and I'll show, like, a few, like, tips and, like, I guess, tricks on Rocks Editor. So, first thing you want to do, this is a suggestion, um... I like to do my rocks editors, like, Shit. I like to do it in direct mode, because in direct mode, you can change, like, the weather, uh, you can make your character, like, invincible, you can make him, like, I don't know, jump really high, like, you can do all that type of stuff. Um, in order to go to direct mode, if you don't know, you need to go to story mode, go to the interaction menu, go to the bottom, and it's right there. There's also another thing, when you're in direct mode, like before you go into direct mode, um, the outfit you want to use for the Roxa editor, uh, you need to have that outfit on, like you can't change outfits in direct mode, so whatever outfit you want to use for direct mode, you need to have that on before you um, go into story mode. I'm gonna record something for an example, and you can use this example for whatever else you want to record. These tips, like, should help you. Um, they're not really, to me, they're not complicated. I mean, my, if you go back to my older videos from, like, 2017, uh, stuff like that, and even when I first came back in 2019, so, like, now, um, I definitely improved. Most of it was just me figuring stuff out on my own, but there was, like, a few people that told me some things, but... I'm just gonna share like what I knew and it should be able to help you create something like you really like enjoy. Now for this example, I usually like to make it thunder. Like I don't know, it makes it more to me I can make like it more realistic I guess. I always put like invincibility on just in case like I don't know I get hit by a car. I don't know. So I don't go back to like the loading thing where you have to load back up your character. And I put super jump on, so I can get around. Um, I'm gonna record like a scene on... Probably... I'll probably do it on top of a... No, I won't do it on top of a building. I'll do it... Um, there's some alleyway over here I'll do it in. Now for me, like... For a random shot, like... I don't know, for whatever video you might want to use, whether it be like a montage or whatever, like this is just some random face I chose, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna do like some random like thing, like, but yeah, I'll do, you can do like an action style, I guess, I'll do like, I guess I'll do this, I don't know, whatever, um, that's, I'll, I'll use this like as an example, I'll create another one as well, much like, probably a much cooler one, since I'm invincible, uh, that means no one can kill me, so, like, I'll put the, uh, cops on me, and, like, you can make something cool with that. Um, they won't be able to kill you, too, since they're, like, in director mode and you have the ability to, uh, have it where you're invincible. So since they're on me, like, this, this can be an example, like, if you want to, like, I don't know, kill whoever in your rocks editor, or, like, I don't know. You can make something cool out of this. Um, obviously record. Let's say I want like fire to be behind me, hold the cup, the cars go up. That can be a really dope shot. Alright. That should be enough. That those are like two examples I would use to show you guys how to do it. Really good shots so, like how to use rocks out of there in general. So now that you have like the shots you wanted, um you have to go into the rocks editor now. 
you don't know how to do that, hit the pause menu, uh, go over it, add a set of one so it takes me there immediately, but Vox Editor is right there. Once you load a Vox Editor, you know, create a new project, add, add your clips that you put in there. Um, these are the two I just recorded. Um, so, here we go. Okay, now we're like about to edit, so if you want to record from the beginning, you can, or if you just want to find somewhere forward, you can like fast forward it by using the analog stick to uh, find where you want to start it from. I'll just start it from here. So you want to like go to cameras, camera type, what will allow you to like move the cameras, free camera. Uh, I see some people use present front this as well all these but like the shots aren't that good you can't be as free as you want to be so since you're now in free camera find like the angle you want um here's a tip to make it look better at least for me i um always zoom in by zooming in like you know this hold r2 you can also like zoom all the way out uh, but that could make it look to me it doesn't look that good but to you you might like it so, um, once you find the shot you want, uh, I'll use this shot. You can also, like, tilt the camera to make it more, like, I don't know, stylish, like, for you or whatever. You can. Um, so that's the shot I want to use as the starter. Um, I also recommend you use a filter to, uh, it makes it, I don't know, it can make it pop out more. To me, it, my favorite filters is this one by the way i always put the filter intensity to 90 and the saturation to 10. i never do anything with this the only time i will do something with this is the brightness if it's like really dark and you cannot see my character at all i'll put the brightness up to make it so you know you can actually see here's a filter i like to use there's also other ones i just Honestly, I actually do like the Sultan in the show. I never used it, but it does look good to me. Mm. The filters I usually use are this one, sometimes that one, uh, this one I like to use, I like to use this one as well. Sometimes I've used this. Um, I don't know, whatever filter you like the most you can use, but to me, I'll just go with this one. Um, so that's like... The first shot um okay something people have asked me is like oh how do you um move the camera um what you want to do is go to blend mode and put it to linear or smooth i recommend linear um because it, uh, to me it's just better uh you can try smooth and you'll be able to see the difference um but i always use this one also another tip, um, I always like the screen to move, so I always put on the handheld camera. Um, you can do whatever you want though, but this is just what I do. There's also um, these, um, but yeah, I always use this one most of the time. Um, so, obviously it's not moving. Uh, for it to move, you need to put a marker, let's say right here. Wherever you want it to move to, you need to put this uh, marker. Put it wherever you want for it to move. So I'll put it right here. And now watch it. It will move. See? It moves. Um, now for me, I don't know if this, this might bother you, but you see how like his like eyes cut off? If, you, if you're like me, like I don't like it when it does that. So I just uh, re-angle the position so it doesn't do that and yeah, it should, this should fix it. Okay, well it fixes it more but you get the idea. If you don't, okay, well that's weird, I don't know why I just forget. But um, basically you get the idea. I'm not gonna sit here all day trying to fix the position but you get the idea. If you don't want it to like cut off like how it cuts off like his eye or whatever here like I'm really like nitpicky about that so anytime that happens I always like go in and reposition the camera 
um, just a little bit, whether you need to move it a little bit up um, or a little bit down, but I always do that because that usually bothers me. Also something people I see like make a mistake, to me, okay, if you like this, you know, you can like it, but me, like, um, it's not really something I like to do. I'll show you an example. Um, Alright, the camera is still able to move, alright? So let's say you want to put another position, let's say uh, right here. Now see how like, the camera moves back? I, I don't like that, so what I usually do is um I make another marker, um, I hold L1 so you know you can move the marker wherever, wherever you want. Oh, I put it all the way back to the last one. Um, I'll I'll just change the shot. I'll change that to right here, where originally where I just put it at. But it won't move there. This is what it will do. And also, I'm gonna show you something as well. See that little flicker? That flicker is since it's on linear. Uh, the camera is moving to this. But it's really fast. But if that flicker bothers you, um, I just put linear off, like so it doesn't move anymore. And now look, that flicker isn't there anymore, and uh, the camera just closes in like right there. But it doesn't move there. So I like that way better because I don't like it when the camera um, like shakes too much. Like in the other shot before I just did this, when it moved like the camera like jerks and I don't like that. That's just me though, if you like that you can do that, but that's not what I like to do. Um, let's see, alright the camera is able to move, so I'll make it, I'll do this again, I'll make it um, go up on the space. Alright, now let's see what it looks like. Here's another example, um, there's also something, if you watch my videos, it, this might look really different because um, I always have mine in slow motion, like I never have it at the normal speed, um, I always have it at a slower speed because I like the way it looks better, um, I don't know if you want to do this. Um, this is just my style though. Um, there's also something people have asked me like, how do you like speed up in between your shots? Like it will be slow, like look, like, it will be slow, but right in the middle it will like speed up, right? And then it will slow down again. What I do for that is I just add a marker. Um, I add two markers where I want it, the speed to start and where the speed to stop. Um, and I just make it faster, so now it would look like this. That's an example. It, it, I use that for like it to go with whatever song I'm using, um, to make it like more go with the song if you want. Uh, that's something I do. Uh, whatever song you use, or whatever you're just gonna have to figure out. Listen to the song whatever sounds good with it, like when you speed it up, or you don't have to speed it up at all, it just depends on the song, but um, that's just something I do. I'll show another example, I put another marker right here, and like I said, I don't like it to move, the, I don't like to move the camera again, because it will jerk, and I don't really like it when it does that, so I'll take linear off, and go to the next one, and I'll do like another like shot, this is the shot I like right here. Alright, so I'm going to let it play. Um, fine, I'll stop it right here, and here's another shot. Alright, uh, those are like three examples of this like cool shot. Alright, now, um, I'm just gonna take like the free camera thing off, but I'm gonna put it back to game camera, 
but don't don't do it on the marker don't do it on this marker because if you do it's gonna mess up this entire shot so you need to take it off linear go to the next uh, marker and I put it on game camera now it's back to normal so now you know how to move the camera um, I just showed like the speed thing like if you want to do that I showed an example of that uh, I don't know I just showed some cool shots you can do okay that's where the first clip now I'm gonna go into the second clip okay so start where you want it to like record from I'm gonna re-angle this a bit to find the good shot I want I'll leave it right here like I said I like to put handheld camera um, if you want the camera to move again you can right there I'm gonna do one of those speed shots that like I'll slow it down between and then speed it up all right I kind of like this shot so put it on linear to move it it's really see how it's really slow all right, so like again I'm not using any song with this if you want to use this for a song and match it then you're gonna have to like listen to the song carefully and uh, try to match it up. Um, so I'll just randomly, I'll put it right here, start it right here, and then I'll speed it. Uh, where does the card go? Actually, I'll speed it up near towards the Alright, so I stop it right there, so this is where it's gonna like do the speed thing. Um, you can put whatever speed. And then you can look with this shot. I'm gonna do a shot where I flip a grenade. Um, let me see. So find the angle where you wanna. Wait, let me see where I wanna start it from. I'll start it from right here. All right. So this will be the angle I start it from. Let me put a filter on. So, I'm gonna have to do this a lot in slow motion. Let me put it on this. The reason why the camera is moving is because of this shot, and it's trying to go to this one, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Alright, I'll stop it right here. I'll move it towards right here. This is where I want it to go. Now... See how it cut off the arm? Like I said, I don't like it when it does that, and I'm like super nitpicky about that. Alright, so I found the, uh, like where it will look good and it doesn't cut off. Right here. So that's the first shot. Um, I'm gonna do something I rarely do, and it could come out really well. I'm gonna make it where the camera follows the grenade. Alright, so let's see. I wanna set it off right here. Actually, no. Mm, zoom out a bit. Ah, uh, this sucks how the grenade glitches out like that. I think it's with just with the rocks editor, because I don't like how the grenade glitches, but there's nothing I can really do to fix that. So like if this happens to you, um, I'll cut it like before it glitches. So this is where it's about to glitch. I know so. Alright, so you see when it glitches? What you're gonna wanna do is add another marker, hold L1 on it, move it all to the way to the left. Go back to the other marker by hitting L1. Um, take this off linear, put this on game camera. Alright, and then whenever, since it's done glitching, 
Now we're possessing the camera. So where? The grenades. Now, um, when you export this, like whenever, whatever you use to edit, whether it be Chef Factory or I don't know, whatever, maybe you you share factory upload it on youtube or download it on your computer whatever you use um you can just cut this part out like i want to split the clip and like this delete this part um and you could just transition use a transition uh and then transition that onto this now i'm gonna make it follow the grenade but I'm gonna zoom out and do a little camera trick because it might make it ten times better. Alright, okay, like I said, I don't. I'm not gonna make it where like the camera like making it follow it. The only way you'll be able to make it follow it fully, um, you're gonna have to do more than one mark. But that won't make it where. Especially since you have to move it in positions, it will make the camera like uh, jerk, and I don't like that. So I'm just gonna add another marker here and like change the uh, position, and it will just cut to another shot of the grenade. Uh, I found the shot. Um, now for me this is too slow, so like I'll probably speed it up a bit, and then lock to be that shot, and then you could transition this. Oh, wait, let me add another marker. Uh, hold L1 on it to like move it. I'm gonna move it all the way back against the other one. Hit L1 again. Take this off and put this on game camera. All right, all right. Now, like, whatever you use to edit, you can just cut this out as well. And then, bam, that, that shot looks, like, really cool to me. These are just a few examples you can do. Um, that's, like, pretty much, like, out of the examples. Like, you can use what I showed you and use it, like, um, for other things. Um, like when I showed it following the grenade, right? Um, you could use this example as let's say you want to like make a shot where you're jumping off a building but you want it to follow your character. Um, you could do that as well by using this uh, thing I just showed about the grenade. It's basically the same thing. It's just all in the angles. Um, if you angle it right, your character won't cut off, or, like, it won't make some weird, like, I don't know, shot or whatever. It's all in the angles, uh, when it comes to, um, uh, like, videos for Oxa Editor. That's basically, like, my main tip. It's all in the angles. If you angle it right when you're doing videos and you want to make the camera move, you just have to angle it right, and if you angle it right, where like your character uh, doesn't cut off, then it should be good. Unless you want it to cut off, like if it's necessary for the shot for your character cut off, to cut off, then like that's okay. But if you're like wanting it to show it fully, then it's all in the angles. So if you um. If your character just keeps cutting out, you're just gonna have to re-angle it until it doesn't, uh, or whatever it be, like a car, um, like a, and by cut out, I mean like cut out the shot, um, or like, if, basically for anything, um, those are like a few like rocks editor scenes I can give you an example of that I made to show how like I edit. Um, maybe this Rock the Editor wasn't like a tutorial, like, for the basic stuff, like, it's mainly for if people want to know how I edit, because there's people who ask me, like, 
oh, how do you edit? Or like, how do you do it? Like the way you do it. And that's what I'm basically showing, like how I make my shots and how I use it myself. Um, use these tips, um, keep practicing with them and you'll get better at it. Uh, that's basically what I did. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, also, I'm gonna show, um, this is probably the best place to show it up. I made this, um, it's not like a music video, but I made like this Rockstar Editor, like a whole Rockstar Editor video. It's like two or three minutes long, um, with like really cool shots. And this is like the perfect video I think I can make it for. So, yeah. Um, anyways, if there's like any questions, like that you don't understand or anything, um, PM me on Instagram. Um, it's at Stepfuls, S T E P F U L S. Just PM me if you have any questions and maybe I can help you if there's something you didn't get. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna make more tutorials. I might make um, more like Rockstar Editor type of videos, like tutorials, if like to learn new things. Cause I didn't show like everything I know how to do, but um, I just showed like the basic stuff because people kept asking me, "Oh, how do you make the Rockstar edits like you do?" So I'm basically showing you guys how I do them. But yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching the video, though. Um, see you in the next one. Just killed a man